there used to be a Mrs. Cup that accompanied this Mr. Cup. Well, technically, she wasn't my missus. She was my fiance, but that was life. Until she wasn't. My name is Kevin Adidikin, and I need a plan to find a wife. And when she left, so did her cup. So now I'm left with just Mr. Cup. And um, my desire to get married and to have kids is still there. I would say it's higher now than it was before, but something's missing. And that thing that's missing is the fact that I don't have like an intentional plan. You know, I've planned out vacations, I've planned out my career, but if you were to ask me what is my plan behind finding a wife, it's very vague, right? Common knowledge stuff, you know, find somebody, go out on a date, but even if backing up to just that, like finding somebody in this time and this age, you know, how do you want to go about doing that? And so my desire is to try to figure out how to create a plan that's tailor-made for myself. You know, the Bible says that a people without a plan shall perish, and I don't want my legacy to perish. Most people's plan is going to be kind of like their list, right? The things that they're looking for in a potential mate. And um, I too have a list of things that I'm looking for, but I'm just wondering, can I go a little bit deeper than that? I want to actually map out or have a roadmap of the entire process from singleness to marriage and beyond. And I want to be very intentional and literally track that progress. So you, you first start off with me, right? Or maybe in this case, you, right? And you need a pool of potential candidates. So I'm gonna represent that by these pins. And you can meet these potential candidates, you know, grocery store, friends of a friend, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? But the whole meaning behind the attracting period is that you have access to a pool of potential candidates. Then you go on a series of dates, right? Kind of like get to know you type of interview. Really relax, right? To kind of filter down those candidates. Then you're left with a select few, right? And this is where you continue to, you know, get a little bit more uh, particular about the type of dates and the type of conversations you're having to eventually select the one. All right, commercial break. So I mentioned earlier about the one, but I wanna give some specification behind that. I don't believe in the soulmate type of theory where you have one and only person in this lifetime that could ever fit the one. And if you do pick somebody outside of them, they're always going to be so far. I don't believe in it. What I do believe is in understanding that depending on what season you're in your life, and there are many seasons in life, you're going to make the best decision according to where you're at as well as where you believe you're projected to go. And that person is the one for you at that time. It's more about exclusivity to one person and one person in that season. It's the reason why I believe that you can marry in 20s and 30s and have the one, right? You've selected the one, but then also remarry in your 60s and 70s and also have the one. Now, I wish that the dating process was as simple as it was for me to write these steps down, but we know that the reality is that it's not as simple. So let's go over some of those challenges. So when it comes to attracting, um, my history has been meeting people face-to-face, -face, right? Just natural, organic, you know, type of interactions, but, uh, the world is still kind of like in a situation right now. Now I have come across a few ladies where their eyes and their beauty have matched. I mean, it's like, you know, when you lose one limb or you lose a particular sense, another part becomes stronger or becomes a little bit more sensitive. Then I have the challenge of my past experiences, past relationships, whether it's hurt, trauma, etc. It's not my intention that I want to take old things and bring them into a new situation. However, if I'm not intentional, I'm just going to repeat the same thing during my new dating process. 
So the last challenge is having no plan. Now, let me throw in a caveat here. So I don't believe that everything in life needs to be like prescriptive, right? However, I believe having a general roadmap of the direction where you're going is very helpful for yourself. And it's also very helpful for, you know, articulating that to other people. So for example, if you're going on a road trip, um, you know where you're starting, you know your destination. However, there may be some unplanned pit stops or some unplanned turns um, as part of the journey, right? But for the most part, you have a good sense of where you're headed. And having a written plan and adjusting as need be is very, very insightful in meeting your goals. So the question is, how I'm going to address these problems? I got a plan. So for 2022, I want to establish and grow my YouTube channel, right? And I'm thinking, you know, along this roadmap, why don't I pick up some other goals that are in a similar alignment? You know, I'm trying to, you know, increase my chances of finding a wife and, you know, start working on a process there. So I was like, I did a mashup, right? So hear me out. When it comes to the pandemic, right? I mean, you're limited to certain places and, you know, having to wear masks and whatnot, stuff like that. But, you know, when I think about YouTube, I'm thinking about an audience without walls, a way to reach people beyond physical means and even beyond time. Right? Like people can watch your content or you can communicate with people uh, throughout all hours of the day. And then when it comes to my past experiences, I'm experiencing something new. So I'm thinking about untapped potential with YouTube and dating in terms of trying something new and innovative, just kind of working outside the box. I don't know what that is yet, but I'm excited to figure out what that is. And then lastly, with having no plan, with YouTube, I have somewhat of a road plan or road map. And so that's going to help me try to line up things when it comes to my dating world. So, you know, be able to take my resources and be more efficient. I think this might, might actually work. So what do you think about my plan? Is it brilliant? Crazy? Give me ideas of how I can combine those two things together. Let me know in the comments below. I love replying back to comments. Until next time, like and subscribe and watch the next video. Come see.